Hi, Kiss Killers. I'm Gyeong Kim, Kiss Kid Advocate from Korea. Uh, this video is an unofficial guide lecture for the IBM Quantum Challenge Exercise 3. I prepared this to make you enjoy the beauty of the quantum localization and quantum formalization. The goal of this exercise is finding some physical values of quantum system for measuring the amount of localization and thermalization. Since we learned about localization in previous stage, uh, let's think about thermalization first. Let's imagine 100 molecules and four boxes where the molecules are freely moved from one box to another. At the time equals zero, suppose we put all 100 molecules in zero box. A few hours later, since the molecules will diffuse, uh, we can imagine that the molecules are separated to each box equally. This is an example of the classical thermalization. Let's count the number of molecules in even side box and odd side box. At the initial stage, number of molecules in even side is 100, while the molecules in odd side is zero. However, after thermalization, number of molecules in e is equal in even and odd side. So how can we measure the thermalization? Uh, the answer is difference of number of molecules in even and all site. This quantity is called imbalance of the system. At initial state, imbalance is one, while the imbalance is zero at the final stage. So as the system is thermalized, we can ex expect the imbalance goes zero. But how can we measure or and define the imbalance of the quantum state? For the computational basis state, we can easily define the imbalance just same as imbalance in classical case. Since imbalance is well defined for computational basis, we can think the computational basis state are eigenstate for the imbalance operator. Note that we cannot define imbalance for the state where the all qubits are, zero, are in zero state. So if you are familiar with quantum mechanics, the next step is natural. I think it is better to give you an example for calculating imbalance for general state rather than give you explicit formula for imbalance. Since we can calculate expectation value for some quantities by multiply each quantities with their probabilities and sum up, uh, we can do the same process on calculating the expectation value of the imbalance. In this case, we can multiply the imbalance of the quantum state 1, 0, 0, 0 by the probability of one uh, state 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and add this value for, uh, for the same with 1, 0, 0, 1 state. And the final result is 0.5. Now you are ready to solve uh, exercise 3A. The other physical value uh, for measuring localization and thermalization is von Neumann entropy. But before uh, telling you about von Neumann entropy, I will briefly review the concept of partial trace first. In brief, uh, partial trace or trace out is average out the not interest part of the system. Let's consider the pro product state case first. Since the subsystem A and not interested part A bar is not entangled, averaging A bar could not affect on the subsystem A. In this case, a remains pure quantum state. On the other hand, if A and A bar are entangled, now averaging out the A bar effect on the A since measurement on A bar effect on A. Uh, now some of the quantum probabilities of A is changes uh, to classical probabilities. So now A is no more pure quantum state. We uh, physicists call this value, uh, at this kind of state are as mixed state. von Neumann entropy gives information about quantumness of subsystem A after trace out A bar. Since we know that quantumness of A is directly related to the amount of entanglement of A and A bar, uh, we can measure the entanglement of A and A bar by calculating von Neumann entropy of A. Here, I made an example of calculating von Neumann entropy of A when the full system is maximally entangled 
In other words, uh, the first system is bell state. In this case, the volume entropy is Rm2. And since we know that this case is uh, have maximum entanglement, we can deduce that Rm2 is maximum value for volume entropy. However, with product state, volume entropy is zero. And since there is no entanglement uh, between A and A bar in this case, we can check the minimum value of volume entropy is zero. Now we are uh, ready to solve uh, exercise 3B and 3C. This problem wants you to simulate the time evolution with tight binding Hamiltonian with several strengths of disorder while measuring the imbalance and von Neumann entropy. For initial state, since it is product state and it only have uh, even site population, uh, von Neumann entropy is zero while imbalance is one. The question is how this quantity changes as time goes. From the knowledge I explained about below uh, uh, previously, uh, we can imagine the result before we run the simulation. I think keep this question in your mind and solving exercise three would make you more enjoy the beauty of quantum simulation. I will give you some extra hints a uh, few days later before the challenge finished. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the quantum challenge. Thanks for your listening.